This is my current project. It's a very, very small and simple slow speed logic analyzer. It has the capability for as many channels as open pins on the microcontroller. Uh, right now it's set for 19 useful inputs. It's sending data from 24 pins, but some of those are used for USB communication. This is a USB cable. Uh, I can show it to you here. It's just a few pins. And you can hear as I plug it in, the USB device will be found. I plug it in, one of the pins is ground, and three of them go to pins on the microcontroller. The purpose of this video is not to describe how to interface a simple AVR microcontroller with USB. Uh, note that I'm using the VUSB project, and hopefully I'll be posting about that uh, on my website soon, so you can do it very simply. Uh, this is a 12 megahertz crystal, and that's all it takes. That USB cord goes right there into the computer, and I have a little piece of Python software. And when I run it in the live mode, this is the data coming through. Now, if it's a zero, it means the pin is off, and if it's a one, it means the pin is on. All of these pins are disconnected right now, which means they're floating, so they're very, very variable. If I just touch the microcontroller on and off like this, you can see the ones, they'll come and go just by my fingers touching them. So these are very sensitive. Obviously, if you're using it uh, for something important, you're going to want to ground the pins so they don't go to one. Here's another example. You know, as I put my hand near it, they change. Uh, when I place a wire in the pin, which I'll do like this, this acts like a little antenna, and I'll pick up some of the 60 hertz noise that comes from the electrical wi wires in my house. So that just acts as an antenna, and you can see that some of these are, are oscillating between ones and zeros. Again, I believe this is a 60 hertz in the house. So I will temporarily pause this, or I'll cancel that. I'll change the live mode to false. False. And instead of showing the results to the screen, what's going to happen is this is going to be logged to a text file. So I will record a little bit of it. And that's good, about four or five seconds. And you can see this new file has been generated. I'll refresh. Oh, there it is, out.txt. Now if I open it, it's the same data, it's just been logged so that none of it will be missed. Uh, I can then use this script, the logic graph script that I wrote, will help me graph it. So I will run that program and I have it set to look at the fifth character so that's the one that co corresponds to the pin that I plugged in and you can see there's the one second I guess where this particular channel was affected by the by my hand or whatever it was I don't think I got the right channel but you can clearly see these are the 60 Hertz spikes and keep in mind, this is not analog to digital conversion. It's not any level, you know, from 0 to 1,023. This is just on or off, like a anal logic analyzer. And again, these um, peaks are 60 peaks per second. So this gives you an idea of how accurate it is. Actually, you don't really have an idea because you can't tell how many samples there are. So I'm going to close this and in real time do a little bit of programming here. Plot, I will tell it to plot with a dot. And I'll duplicate that line. So we'll have a dot and a dash. Save. Run. It's loading the data. Crunching the data. Extracting this fifth column from the data. Now it's plotting it. It's a lot of data to go through and this is a very inefficient way to store the data and analyze the data, so it, I realize there's room for improvement. What's happening? Why is it so slow? Come on, you can do it. I don't know what's happening. That, that went really quickly the first time. Oh, I canceled it just in time for it to load. Let's try again. Okay, for some reason that came right up this time. So now I will zoom in, and you can see that each of these spikes has a few pieces of data in it. There you go. So with each spike being 60 
one sixtieth of a second from here to here, you can tell we have quite a lot of spikes. Now this prob or quite a you have a lot of data inputs. It's probably not good enough for real time high speed communication, high speed serial data, I two C, that sort of thing. You're not going to capture these device communication protocols that are transferring megahertz of data very quickly. Um, but this is, should be slow enough, or I guess it should be fast enough to allow me to capture the display and read some data from it. So here you go, very, very simple logic analyzer. I'll post some limited code. This goes against everything I believe in. I'm not going to post all of my code. I really want to make a blog post about the VUSB project with some very simple USB code before I post this fancier project.